Welcome to another video tutorial from the Bureau of Healthcare Quality and Compliance, also known as HCQC. The topic of this video is steps to enter a new application in ALIS, which we refer to here as CLICS. This is the Nevada online licensing system for health facilities, child care facilities, and medical laboratories. The system is also used for medical lab personnel, dietitians, and music therapists for professional licensure in Nevada, but the steps outlined in this video apply to the various facilities licensed by HCQC, not to these individuals. Their processes will be outlined in a separate video. Let's get started. The first step in accessing the Nevada online licensing system is to visit the Division of Public and Behavioral Health's website at dpbh.nv.gov. Once this page loads, click on Health Facilities under the Quick Links menu on the right side of the page. After the Health Facilities page loads, look for the second link under the orange header called Provider Tools. This is the link to enter the CLICS licensing and certification system. But before you go there, you'll need to gather some documents that you'll need later in the process. So start by clicking on the Resources for Providers page link. On the Resources for Providers page, you'll see two categories at the top, medical facilities and non-medical facilities. Select the one that applies to you. For this example, we'll select non-medical facilities. On both the medical and non-medical facilities pages, you'll see a breakdown of the facility types. Once again, select the one that applies to you. For our example, we'll select PCA, or Agency to Provide Personal Care Services in the Home, also known as a personal care agency. Every facility type has a page similar to this one with a variety of information. Among that information will be a checklist outlining the documents needed in the application process. Find your checklist and click on it to view the documents you'll need to gather before proceeding to the Nevada Online Licensing System. When submitting your application packet, you must turn in all the documents on your facility types checklist or your application packet will be considered incomplete and will be returned to you. The only documents you do not personally submit are the Certificate of Compliance from the State Fire Marshal and background check reports. These will be sent directly to HCQC as part of the inspection and fingerprinting processes which each applicant is responsible to initiate. Once those documents are gathered, you are ready to click this link and begin using the online licensing and certification system. Once the CLICS online licensing and certification system homepage loads, look for the second white box down on the left side labeled New Applicants Apply Here. In this box, you'll want to click on the first option, which says to apply for a new health facility, click here. The next page is the starting point of creating your facility's identity for Nevada licensure. We encourage you to fill in as much information as possible, but a minimum you'll need to fill in the fields marked with red asterisks. This includes creating a login name and password, and also includes the business name you registered with the Nevada Secretary of State. If you haven't completed this registration, you'll need to visit nvsilverflume.com. When the required information on this page is completed, click Register. On the next page, click the button next to New Health Facility at the top. Then, select the credential or facility type and any endorsements that apply to your situation. Once this is complete, you'll scroll to the bottom of the page and click Next. On this page, you will want to use the pull-down menus to enter your facility's hours of operation for each day of the week. When completed, click the Next button. On the next screen, you will input your facility's address information. 
Mailing address and physical address are required, and there is space for a secondary contact if applicable. When this is completed, click Next. Next is the Ownership Information screen, where you will add your facility's ownership information. For individual owners, this includes every person who has a 10% or greater ownership interest. Click the Add button for each individual in the top area, or the corporation or LLC information in the lower area. Each time you click Add in the Ownership Information area, a pop-up window will appear where you will enter the details of each owner. Insert this information and click Save at the bottom. Repeat for each owner, and when each owner's information is entered, click Next on the main Ownership Information screen. On the next page, titled Additional Information, you will need to provide complete information for your facility's surety bond and liability insurance by clicking Add in each area. If it applies to your situation, you can provide information about your facility's accreditation and additional workstations. This is the pop-up screen for surety bond information. You must fill in the bond number, expiration date, name of the health facility, and the effective date. Optional fields are for the bond amount, number of employees, and other comments. You also must upload a scan of your surety bond document, and after uploading the document, you're asked to send the original to the Las Vegas address in red. After you've completed and closed the surety bond information window, click Add next to Liability Insurance Information. The pop-up window for liability insurance information is shown here and includes required fields for the policy number, expiration date, provider name, and effective date. Optional fields include the policy amount and other comments. The liability insurance certificate can be uploaded and must have the Bureau of Healthcare Quality and Compliance listed as the, as the certificate holder, and the name and address of the policy's issuant must match the facility name and physical address. Back on the additional information screen, you can add information about your accreditation or additional workstations. If you do have information about accreditation or workstations, you will be able to upload documents on this pop-up screen by clicking Add to create a row, then Browse to locate the document on your computer, and add comments for each document. Repeat this for each document, and then click the Upload button at the bottom to upload them all at once. After your documents are uploaded, the pop-up window will disappear, and you will click Next at the bottom of the Additional Information window. At the next window, you will need to respond yes or no to the question about laboratory testing and CLIA. After you select your answer, click Next. Last is the attestation page, where you will need to click the checkboxes next to each attestation, select your name and date, and then click the blue Submit Application button. You can also go back if you would like to review any of the pages. The final page of this process will give you an amount owed for your licensing fee. You have the option one last time to go back and edit your application. And when you're ready, click Pay Now to proceed to paying your licensing fee. Take note, however, of the warnings on this page so you don't accidentally get double charged. Thank you for watching this video on steps to enter a new application in ALIS. We hope it has helped you successfully navigate the online licensing system for health facilities, child care facilities, and medical laboratories. Be sure to click around the Healthcare Quality and Compliance website to find more video tutorials and written instructions 
that will help you through the various state licensing processes. If you need further assistance, write an email to our Education and Information Officer at nkorme at health.nv.gov. Thanks again for watching.